Hello everyone, my name is Notepad and on and I write games for fun. So what are we working on today? It, we're working on deafening myself with music. Oh god, why do I always do that? But we are working on Hearts of the Valkyria as we have been recently. And it's the goal. The little goal, my friends, was to make things nice and pretty and awesome and great by the time I came back. That didn't happen. <laughs> That's not going to happen because I kind of got stuck on a few things. Uh, one, classes. Classes were kind of a big problem for me. Why is smart drawing on? Stop that. Oh, God. Uh, Classes ended up being somewhat of an issue for me for a few reasons. Mostly because I there are there's the game way of doing it, and then there's the table, tablet, tablet version of doing it. Both have their ups and both have their downs, but I wanted to make it so that characters had a little bit more room to maneuver when it came to who they are, as that's usually my... Uh, getting there. Uh, currently I am drinking uh, vanilla tea with about two and a half shots worth of strawberry whiskey in it. Strawberry whiskey is actually surprisingly good. I wasn't anticipating it as much as I am. A little sweet, but good. Mm. I also cut myself recently, so a little sore right on my lip. But the main other issue that I was having is this. That's a terrible circle. Come on, Notepad, you can do this. Come on. This. The Iron Caskets Force system doesn't work, unfortunately. I looked at it, I kept looking at it, I kept banging my head up against a wall, I kept making aggressive oog oog noises as I you know, hit it with a wrench, but it didn't quite work. Nothing about it. The transfer to point A to point B would be difficult, if not impossible to do, unless I just rewrite the entire system from the ground up, and at that point... If I gotta rewrite something from the ground up, I may as well just rewrite it from the ground up. So, where are we currently? So, if we scroll all the way up, God, we are 120 pages into this nightmare, and we still need to fix things up. So, let's fix the table up. I'd say I'm most comfortable to about here. I should actually mark as comfortable point dot jpeg because this is everything that I've done and actually what I should do is get here I meant to change you to rangers, militia, infantry, marines, and your scouts, classically trained soldiers. You are going to go away. Because yes, I'm going to be cutting some of these guys. Uh, house fighters, begone. Paramilitaries, begone. Actually, what I should do instead, control C. Yes, hi, this is also the game jam I set up today. Uh, we're going to have our special, our house fighters ignore fighting penalty, our special paramilitary FUs, and then yeet. This will make sense in a bit. Cavalry. Be gone, cavalry. Actually, what I should do is scavengers. Yeet. And sailors are able to do that. Pilots are able to use air vehicles. Uh, 
How's the game jam plan going so far? Well, I posted it in, let's see, one, two, three, four servers. And people seem to be relatively excited about it. I seem to be getting some, like, hey, how do I do this? Can I do this? Can I do that? And generally, that's pretty cool. Ironically enough, is the GDG proper. GDG proper is the one that's given me the least amount of stuff on it. That's kind of, and I don't know if we're already kind of accustomed to what to go on, or we're just... Or the thread just isn't, or the uh, server just isn't in it as much. But they've actually been the one that's been talking the least about it. In probably I've gotten the most amount of things in the TTRPG Design and Playtesting Discord, which is a very long name. I'm just going to call it the Gear Discord. They've been the ones probably the most. And like, hey, how do we do this? But that's also the place where someone asked me, and you know, what are the concept of rules? And the other one that's been kind of interesting is, ironically, the Loot Game Finder. They've been pretty hot. They've been pretty, pretty on top of things. So I'm kind of interesting, kind of, kind of interesting, kind of interested to see what they pull out because I actually gave them a special rule, see if they can uh, accommodate around it. Those weird perverts. But hopefully, I actually get some things. And that's what. That's the. That's the dream. But <laughs> exactly. I, I'm somewhat worried for some of the, for some of them, but that, that's half the fun, right? Of being terribly worried about what other people are going to be typing and sending you, and I fully expect to probably. Get an entire helping of random ass porn one day in my DMs, but hey, that's what happens when you are participate on the Lewd Game Finder servers. Um, a few strengths. Nope, cut. Raider Scouts. All right, so let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. It's pretty solid. Please, now. I had a friend who would randomly give me, you know, pornography at random in intervals of time, and more than once I opened up a DM from him in, the, in a public place. I'm like, oh, sweet mother of God. This isn't, this, this is a no-no. Ah, uh, let's see, infantry weapons, fine, fine, superior arms, okay, that works. Okay, I need a picture here still. What the hell is, what the hell is even this? Why is this completely blank? This is why we go through things, everyone. Because inevitably... Actually... The FU suffers a name of two organization. On the terrain. Six. You say that, <laughs> you say that, but, <laughs> but uh, trying to have to explain, like, oh yes, this is perfectly fine what I'm looking at next to, you know, the, you know, the family and Dunkin' Donuts I'm standing next to, like, oh, you want to look at my phone? Map design, do I have to use this? No. Ah, yes, how can I forget such such astounding things, such as you get experience for technically participating in a war crime, you monster. Need some more stories, reputation of the 
faction. I'll kill that. See, I still need to fix you. And here's technically where we're ending off things. So let's zoom all the way back up here. It's not hentai, it's art. Let's see. <laughs> also, my, my astounding uh, section on who you are, otherwise known as being born in anime World War II. Uh, occupation, criminal, educational skill sets, okay. So actually what I am going to do, I'm going to open up iron caskets here. Here's my big think board. Is that... I used... Okay, that's Courier New. I'm like, is that Comic Sans? Am I going insane? Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, iron caskets. I believe in you. Uh, we want to go to the regiment. So... <laughs> Here comes one of the, the tougher parts of this entire thing. I'm going to use this because it's a little bit more detailed. No, actually, I'm not going to give the commander a tank. God, that would be easy if I did that. But here are various... This is what an average army looks like. So you would end up right about here. Hearts of Darkness, by default, assumes you're about here. So, effectively, you're two down from that, and if we're going off the biggest numbers, we're looking at about 30 to, 30 to 40 people, 30 to 50 people. Now, obviously, the, the weird thing about Valkyria Chronicles in more ways than one, is that they keep referencing them as squad as squads. Squad 7, move out. Squad 4, I think is the other one, move out. Uh, nameless, move out. You know, they keep referring to them as sums as squads. However, they are but aren't. They treat it as though they are a platoon, but you play just a squad of soldiers, because if you were to play it one-to-one, -one, you know, as, you know, the way they, the story is saying it is, it's be kind of weird because you'd be controlling a shit ton of people all at once, and that'd be really boring, so obviously they have to bring it down a little bit and say, oh, well, here is all your various uh, things. However, <laughs> this is the However, moment, you end up also in the bizarre situation that as a on the table, things are different because you have to, you can, you can address big things like that and not bog down gameplay because you can't adapt just the VC system one to one, even though weirdly enough, what's it called, Bacteria Chronicles, um, Word again? I know it has his, his, uh, what the fuck? Uh, uh, Duel. Valkyria Chronicles Duels Rewritten Chronicles. Wait, is this on tabletop? Tabletop. Yeah, that's that's one of the things you also have to worry about. And that's what I was thinking about doing. What the bloody hell? Okay. The role-playing game. 
Is this this what I think it is? Oh, this is this is the the only war version. Beyond only war version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird because if you look at squad 7, is the 7th platoon. Yeah. <laughs> you, you get and it's part of the regiment. They completely forget the battalion. Absolutely completely forget the battalion, but she's a like a captain. Captains are are their own complete different things, so they're the, effectively the head of the company in a certain capacity. <laughs> yeah, welcome to you're now seeing the some of the complexities of this game that I wasn't initially thinking were going to happen. I'm kind to address a poner. I'm gonna call you poner puppy, even though you it could be power puppy for all I know. Maybe you're a Paw Patrol fan, but yeah, it, that's one of the biggest issues with this is that if you're following in any other classical military doctrine the galleon army is completely fucking insane <laughs> you know it's that old it's that old adage you know with the americans and you know it's like the americans practice chaos they don't even know their own logic but so trying to attribute parts to it is kind of difficult so Effectively, the, the commander is, luckily enough, I was able just to take things one for one. Yeah, we're not, we're not even dealing with that. We're not, yeah, we are not even dealing with <laughs> that, because you get things like Lancers, and like, oh yeah, just bring Largo along. Why do we have to bring Largo along? He only has a literal RPG, and no handgun, mind you. No ability to actually defend himself outside shooting the cannon at them. It's like, ah, it's exactly. It's just like, ah, yes, we'll bring our AT soldiers out here with a gun. But that's the weird part about lancers is that lancers by themselves are useless. And I don't think anyone has quite come to realize this about the Valkyria Chronicles universe. They don't have like things like rocket launchers or Panzerfaust. They don't have bazookas. They don't have any of that. They have literally a rocket with on the end of a stick. <laughs> and I'm like, what a Chad. Yeah, it's just like one of those very odd things about uh, VC is that you have very mixed groups when it comes to forces and we're not even dealing with armored companies technically welkin should have never become a lieutenant at all because he has no training in actual commanding exactly <laughs> like you guys are seeing the weirdness of the setting now i wasn't i wasn't planning on it initially coming into it but the commander the commander that was taken directly from the Warlord, ironically enough. And I had to change some things. You know, such as, you know, who, you know, how that, how their maintenance is done. I might change some of these, depending on how. Uh, the commander, the commander receives two resources at the start of each season. Depending on how these go, I might end up changing these. But... The commander was pretty easy to do. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> the sorcerer, no fucking idea. I'm gonna have to delete this one entirely. Scammer, absolutely no idea. Because you get some weird things with some of these classes. Because in Hearts of Darkness, one of the key ideas is that you're fighting in a... You know, this is a revolution. You are a, a soldier, and you're, you're not really a soldier. Yeah, it's, you're not really a soldier in Hearts of Darkness. You are, you know, 
you might be playing a college kid, for God's sakes, who's just picked up a gun and has never had any formal training outside of what he learned from action movies. But in VC, everyone's also expected to be Swiss South Korean... Uh, here, let me... Uh, <laughs> the Swiss South Korean Luxembourgian Belgian Dutch Japanese... Uh, what other... A Swedish... Uh, super people who are flawless and have access to apparently the most valuable resource known to human history, but is also a, like, just a micro nation for whatever goddamn reason. <laughs> Gallia is weird. <laughs> Gallia. Or not even not Estonia. Because if they were at least Estonians, they would just get dabbed on by the not Soviet Union. That, that, I think they're supposed to be, like, Switzerland, and I think a little bit of Liechtenstein folded in there. Not Liechtenstein, uh, Luxembourg. Oh, geographically? Oh, yeah, they're they're totally Estonia. Yeah, it's, it's the Baltics. I don't know what you're talking about, though. It's, like, it's Europa, totally different. Actually, it has... Like, I actually love the, the fucking map they have for a VC Europa map. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles. I think I spelt Europa. Oh, I misspelled. I'm misspelling everything because my life is falling apart. Please help. Europa map. So, uh, that's a terrible image. Okay, so, here's Europa. <laughs> Gaze upon it. Like, <laughs> it's weird because even the Imperials are like Russian they're a little bit of German, they're like a hint of, they're a bunch of things. Yeah, God bless Ace Combat. I still, I still need to make an Ace Combat game. One day I'll make the Ace Combat game in my dreams, but until then, I'll just have to roll, I'll have to just eat it. Ah, uh, yes, also, how can we, um, my, my favorite you know, medieval, you know, favorite kingdom, the United Kingdom of Edinburgh. <laughs> Who wants to go to Edinburgh, everybody? The Scots won. <laughs> Remember that, kids. Yeah, it's literally the United Kingdom of Edinburgh. Like, why? How? They, they even, what, what is the, Delfezzi? Delfezzi. What the hell is this name? What is this name? <laughs> like, why? It's Edinburgh. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want to go to Appledore? Jeez, what a pleb. My god. Like, you get some odd thing. Even, you can get the odd thing of, like, technically Gallia is not even a, a... It's a principality. That's its own... I'm getting sidetracked of ranting about... <laughs> all the weird shit going on in this goddamn world. I love it, though. <laughs> Damn dark... See, I, I need to actually add that section in, too, of, with the Darskins. Just being like, everyone hates you because you caused the end of the world, maybe. Uh, the Engineer, Do it Yourself Revolutionary. Honestly, if you want to... If you want to play Welkin... It's sort of, but everyone also listens to the Queen. It's one of the odd things about 
VC in general is that it it's very much a, a, a game on the story. Like, you're, you're supposed to be like, oh, wow, look how pretty and cool. Exactly. You're seeing the oddity. <laughs> Again, it sounds cool. I think that, I think this, this entire setting was built on, it sounds cool. But if you want to play a Welkin, if you want to play a Welkin and company, you would pretty much play Isara as an, as an engineer and him as commander. You would give yourself the battle wagon and, I don't know, probably end up sucking your GM's dick to give you a tank. That's why I call it, the ja that's why I call it Japan, because it's the JSDF. Shock Trooper was pretty easy, too. Um, before anyone comments. Uh, notepad, that's Alicia, and she's a scout. Uh, have you seen speedruns of the Valkyria Chronicles? That woman is a murderer. Holy crap, she can kill everything. Effectively, what I was thinking for classes was something more akin to... Or dare I say, uh, personality? Maybe that's what I was going for. Yeah. Living the dream. But... Classes can either fall into the personality of, yeah, I can play a, quote, shock trooper, end quote, sniper, or I can play a shock trooper, dot, 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 shock trooper. As, or I can go with more game classes, which, if I remember... The Shock Trooper is a, is a work in progress, okay? <laughs> Name needs fixing, but... What is the... Because you get some things like this. Valkyria Chronicles. I swear I can time. Valkyria Chronicles classes. You're like, oh, okay, this makes sense. Classes are simple to think about, right? Here, I'm going to go to Lancer, just so you can all appreciate the sheer... Oh god, okay, it's zoomed, in, zoomed in too far. Fandom, go away. You get this. This seems pretty simple to understand, but Valkyria Chronicles 2 was shit, and everyone who thinks that it's good is dumb. Because there's just a lot of weird things in that game. And it's set in high school for some reason. But... You get some things that I like. I like the idea of fencers. I think fencers are actually kind of a weird addition, and I think they give a little bit of personality to the setting. So if I were to do anything, it would probably be VC3s. But, you know, you get things like Valkyria Chronicles 4. Pretty much the ideas for classes. You say that, you, you say that, but these guys also have, and I do quote, bulletproof super shields. <laughs> They're riot cops with swords. It's the oddest thing. I, I was looking through, like, I don't remember fencers at all across any of these games. But alright, he has a great sword now. Don't worry, don't, don't think about it too much. It's anime. God, what, f was it three? No, oh, it was four. Yeah, infused with Ragnite. That's one of those things you can always attribute to VC. And be like, what a doubt. It's it's infused with Ragnite. It's infused with the magic metal. It's like vibranium. But so <laughs> I 
The worst part is, they're also one of the anti-tank units of where you have to run in with a giant hammer and... Boop! Nobody wears a helmet. If you wear a helmet in a, in a Japanese game, you're more likely to die. Remember that, kids. So, person, pretty much what I was thinking about for classes is either personality, and as was recommended in the one Discord I was in, you have your personality. Uh, actually, no, let me. You have your base class. I'm probably just VC1 or 1 slash 3, or 4, depending on how I want to do it. And then you have your uh, quirks. That's probably what I'm going to call it. It's quirks for now. Technically, they're called potentials, but potentials are weird. Actually, no. And then you have your potentials. Now, one issue I was having with potentials was twofold. One, why? Why would I want a negative potential? That's one of the questions you have to ask. Why would I ever want a negative potential? Do I get a bonus for it? Do I balance something out? Is there a great thing about it because in the game you don't know your soldiers but you as you gradually get to learn about them it's you know as you gradually get to learn about your soldiers you understand who they are you understand their potentials you understand what they do how they do it and how alicia can sprint across the entire battlefield headshotting every single soldier in the imperial army but how do you get things like carl who can't aim to save his life and shoots his friend in the back of the head, i.e. Homer. How do you justify that? That's one of the weird things. You know, how do you have a negative potential and put it there without it being roleplay focused? And then you get weird things like, oh, well, I hate... All of these people, so I ate dark, darkskin, uh, darkskins. I won't mispronounce that always. How do I get a negative potential? Because I have a system in place for something akin to this. If I go to not iron caskets, but gone iron caskets. Uh, where are you? Campaigns, you won't die alone. Ideology. I know it's here. I'm not going in this lane, I swear. Oh yeah, I gotta put all the fucking narcotics in there. Fuck. Okay, yeah, yeah, right here. Pretty much every character can get talents or uh, skills to further increase themselves, make them a little bit more specific. I put this one in specifically for, it was Divided States of America, because I, it's hard to differentiate some characters in when everyone's kind of American. I wanted to give people a lot more dramatic, you know, personal identities. And I can make it work for the potentials. Here, it works. I can do it. I know how to do it. And it'll take me five minutes to do it. The problem is, how do you put in the negative ones? Things like, again, man-hater, dark skin hater, poor shot. How do you put those in properly unless you pre-select them? But even if you do pre-select them, how do you encourage people to take them? Even if they want to. Unless you just role play it out, and like, what are the disadvantages of it? So that's why I've been kind of hesitant to go with this way. True, true. My my only issue with that, and I've encountered a few games. Also, that's my co-host, my squeaky ass chair. It's That was what I was doing. That was just what I was about to say. It's you get some weird quirks that mostly when it comes to role playing quirks. I I'm never a fan of those in any game. Hate me, love me, I don't care. Just because it's very easy to abuse those and abuse the trust you can build with those kind of things. Where like yeah, like oh cool, I'm taking a quirk where I'm 
uh, you know, I hate men. And I, I get it. What's preventing me from role-playing it out every 10 seconds of me hating men and me hating men be like, well, GM say, well, you don't get any XP because you keep, you keep overly role-playing it. Yeah, it's like, let's, and then you end up in a weird Mother May I situation with the GM of, you know, Mother May I please have some experience points for role-playing my quirk out? Well, no, you're not role-playing it well enough. Or, oh, no, you're role-playing it too much. Like, maybe that's just my personal opinions on the matter, but... Like what I see sometimes. That, and it's a lot easier to calculate when it comes to beginning games. If you have suggestions, feel free to add. Feel free to... bring it in. I'm more than willing to take suggestions at this point. I should actually get rid of Oh yeah, I forgot I have to mm. Well, now that you mention it as I do have a as I have been drinking now. I do have a system like that in here. I have the Fate deck. Draw Fate when you... Draw Fate when you use your potential. Use a negative potential. I could also trigger it. Trigger Spurt and one. That could work. Not my favorite thing in the world, but I can make it work. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. So that means we're going to go with the base class with potential ideas, with negative potentials. Going into the fate pool. Uh, gain fate when... Gain fate. Uh, game fit when you hinder the operation with your negative attributes. Uh, boo, hiss, racism, bad. Yeah, I can make something like that work. So now I get to rewrite classes. Oh joy. Engineer's pretty Engineer's pretty easy to do. Shock trooper. And let's see, Kimbo King, no penalty to dual wielding and one handing guns. Uh, do you want to live forever? Gives all FUs of their officer of reroll and if any fail morale check. Custom weapon. Shock trooper may choose any weapon and customize it to their liking. The thing is with fate in particular is fate is its own thing. And having more fate allows you to augment your roles a lot easier, but you don't get really any experience for doing it. So it's, so if you really roleplay it out, you're having a lot of fate to kind of work with. You have a lot more tools at your disposal to say, hey, I'm going to play my 10 here and I'm going to uh, get a plus 10 to this role now because I'm awesome and screw you. Or hey, I'm gonna play my king right now, and give him a little bit. Of, um, you know, give him some assistance. Or I'm gonna use this. Do you do that? I can go to the fate section 
after I'm done here. Mercenary, go away, mercenary. Oh, where are you? Equipment. Yeah. <laughs> I added a lot more melee weapons. Don't worry. You want to you want to bring a a big rock to to the fight? You're gonna bring a big rock to the fight. And also, this is what they look like: the the fencers and <laughs> sword people. I love them. I I had to put them in. Uh, guns. I'm gonna piss Melon off here a little bit. Is I had to. As you see, a lot of the guns aren't really specific because I'm not going insane and trying to track every single godforsaken gun out there, trying to make it perfect. And if you want to do that, go for it. I will not stop you. But right now, for my own sanity, I also had to do a cut down list than what it usually is. This is actually about double the size. This has a few more options. This has, actually, no, because that's a Lance's. Because it's weird because it's Fantasy World War II. And you have things like, thinking about that, it's, I thought about doing it, but it was just like these microscopic additions. I'm just like, are we really, are we really going to need this? I might do it. You would want to use the bolt action. <laughs> right, guys? Right. I need to fix the bolt action rifle because again, some of these guns, all of these guns are attributed to uh, circa 1980, 1993, roughly. That's the that's weird thing about bolt action rifles is that everyone who's lame uses bolt action rifles. Or everyone who, not cool people, cool people use carbines or, like, automatic rifles for some reason. Don't question it. I know I stopped questioning it after a while. Actually, technically, they are three-shot automatic, semi-automatic rifles. I'm down. But yeah, I know I may add the more specific ones if there is a demand for it. But, eh. I did add the flame, the, the flamen verfa. Various. <laughs> You're a militia. Mostly, you are a civilian militia for a effectively demilitarized principality. Oh, we got a lot of vehicles. Had to cut down the vehicle list as well. Just because. They don't really deal with any other cars at the time, so don't worry, everybody. Choppers are technically a thing, and as well as scooters. You can get on your battle scooter. <laughs> That's a thing I had to say there. The various aeronautical vehicles, which they don't also deal with the Air Force at all in that game, that series, which is odd to me. But here is fate. So... Toughness, sleeves, brains, twitch, yeah. Characters played by... If played by a character, they, they give another character plus five to the attribute. If played by the narrator, they give one character negative five to the attribute check. And the idea is that you, ha you all have your cards... Everyone has their fate, pretty much. What they're going to be good at that session, what they're not going to be good at. And you are effectively playing it into the pot. You go over 21 in the pot, the pot explodes, everyone loses their fate. You know, everyone loses. But that also means the game master loses his, because he's going to take it from the pot, and he's going to play it. And pretty much he can give penalties, give problems to everyone by virtue of you play, pretty much it's the, to balance things out. So what you want to do is you want to break the pot. That's kind of the goal. You want to really break the, the fate of everyone here to make it so it's all, all or nothing. The problem is, <laughs> the problem is that the second you do that, everybody loses it. 
unless you have a joker. If you have a joker, you can save yourself. You don't break it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, right there. So the ideal, the ideal situation is that you're, you have enough fate to work around, and if you're role playing your problems, you're going to be getting more and more issues. Ah, yes. How can we forget such a beautiful... Okay, I need to fix this section, alright? Uh, over from Pike, kill, die. That's what a shoulder sh should do. And then... Yeah, and, and Europa is no different. The characters will fight. Get into dangerous engagements, forcing them to fight for survival against the enemy. Battles are broken into two distinct categories. Small-scale conflicts and large-scale conflict. Small-scale... Uh, Small squads of characters, often just comprising of the player characters themselves against a smaller foe. A large scale conflict, a legitimate battle between two forces. Twitch gunfights. Gunfight. We're effectively going to be moving it down here, to the platoon size. So we want to go to also Google. Google Docs does not appreciate this document, by the way. Fun fact. Uh, okay. The platoon is... Oh, God. Mm -hmm. As they draw their sword... Dwindling supply bodies. Ooh. Oh, that's my back going crack. I don't like it when that, that makes that sound. Purposes of bookkeeping. Keep track of what each squad is composed of. Spring Commander. So, one other thing to note is that the majority of the characters are going to be here. The majority of the soldiers you're going to be fighting are going to be here. <laughs> you're just not as good as them. Because guess what? You're civilian militia. You have not, you're not very good. Uh... I'm trained to recruit infantry and represent the basic soldiers who've been trained to fight and die for the cause. Great as. Okay. Alright. 
Oh, phone. Oof. It's chugging. It does not like this document still. One day I'll find an alternative to uh, Google Docs. One day. So, why do I want to? What do I have to? Ch okay. This entire section, I don't. I need to get the. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to get. All right. So what? What do we need now? We need. Lancers. We have the engineer. We need snipers. Scouts. Uh, motor, portable motors, motors, and that seems really dumb, so I'm just gonna kick that, make that go away. <laughs> Be gone, Ad. Wow, I hate this. Okay, so we can probably fold all of... It's a gunner. Nani? <laughs> trooper class tree. Give, give. Okay, so let's see. We have Scoot. So let's see. We have Scout, Shock Trooper already, Lancer. So. Take out sniper and fold it into the scout. We already have the engineer, so we're going to need the fencer. Yeah, that works. We can do that. Wait, are. Wait a second. Are you are you implying that the com that the combat mini skirt isn't are are you implying that the combat mini skirt isn't standard issue gear? My God, how? I would have never known. <laughs> This is one of those weird things about this game. It's like, did did we really need combat mini skirts? Y'all soldiers. Let's let's all remember that. Y'all 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 fucking soldiers. Because there's also characters who don't have combat mini skirts on. It's like, why why don't you have a combat mini skirt on? I thought that was just default for all all all, all the women of the Galleon forces was combat mini skirts. <laughs> It's all, but the worst part is that it's only certain people have to wear the combat mini skirt. Other women don't. <laughs> it's, it's like ah yes, you look like a fine soldier when you when we got you in here. Wait a second, you oh yeah no t totally just just wear the wear this mini skirt we got for you. But but why? Uh yeah. Okay, so overall we have our commander. Okay, we need lancer scouts and a fencer scout and fencer. That was a solid four seconds of my computer killing itself because of this is such a th thick goddamn document. 
So what I'm going to do... Here are all, here are all the games, by the way. Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, where are you? Hearts of Darkness. Hearts of Darkness. And this very disgusting amount of documents. And we're going to make a new one. Yeah, but the combat miniskirt. It's just one of those weird things because it's... If she wore pants or something under it, I could be like, alright, that's fine. Like, I wouldn't really care, but it's just very amusing to me. So, we need the scout. Uh, let's see, what would be a good archetype for a scout, quiet sharpshooter, post carrier, agile? Blah. Shit, I'm out of liquor. go to uh, we'll open up the original and see if what see which ones we can actually just take Nothing. All right, cool. Actually, let's see. Extreme holy words. Hey, hey, people. Nothing. All right, cool. Nothing. Nothing to work with. Nice. I'm going to have to write all these myself. So, let's see. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine of these to do. So, what do, what do scouts do? Let's let's break down what what do scouts actually. So, the scouts in the game, and in turn, snipers. They are fast and maneuverable. Lightly armed, armed and armored. Deal with enemies quick. Deal with enemies quickly. Reposit reposition as well. Reposition ju just as quick. So we're we'll gonna be having to base eight more abilities off of that. Let's do it. So, let's say, I'll probably do some, it's a pretty obvious one. Um, let me just double check, let me get out of the combat. I could probably cycle this out if I wanted to, but eh. Scout adds double their twitch to 
initiative. Scouts means plus two to the aim action. Well, plus two to the actually uh, means a plus two to hit from the aim action. The aim action for the first time they aim. First time they aim in a round. For the first time they aim. Let's see, so quick aim. So you want to do make the kind of sniper scouts. Oh yeah, uh, reposition. Scout me. Ah, uh, what's the movement? Oh, that was a Let me use a maneuver action if they fail to hit a if they fail to hit a shot. Distance. Scout gains a plus two. Plus two to hit. While in close range. One, two, three, four, five, get four more. Now the scout's maneuver action is a plus. Is a neg it's now a negative three. Negative three to hit them. Oh god, got something in my throat. It's terrible. I hate it. I'm grab myself a bottle of water. Ugh, speaky ass chair. And there's some. Case of water ASMR, everyone. You're welcome. I'll accept my Twitch donations today. Uh, let's see. Be some other good ones. Maneuver, maneuver actions out of plus third, negative three. Move, move, move. The scout may spend any fate. Makes me any fate card. Twitch act for Twitch actions. Uh, actually, uh, adrenaline, uh, adrenaline shot. The scout may make a maneuver, maneuver if they are ever shot. If they're ever shot, even if it is not their, not their turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and would be another. <laughs> A scout 
rolls. Actually, rolls initiative. Normally, if they if they are ever ambushed. Roboto, domo arigato, Mr. Roboto, domo. So effectively with Scout, you can kind of mold yourself into more of the sneepier snipers with things like, I would say, probably gotta go fast, steady shot, quick aim, if you really want to go down the more sniper route, however if you want to go down the more I'm going fast and you can't stop me, you can probably go with move, 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 maneuverable, and close the distance would be your big ones. No, things like lightning reflexes won't hurt. So any of your agility guns are sneaking, yeah, that sounds about right. One fate to trigger an explosive. Now, scouts are pretty boring, but scouts also are supposed to be boring because they're literally scouts. They are shooty people who do shooty things for shooty reasons. And then we have Lancer. The Lancer. Ex explosive demolition. Demolition man. Them all, uh, them all is sure. T specialist or big dude. So, scouts out. So, what do we do have to do with lancers? So, lancers are supposed to be big, tough, and able to take a hit. They are AT soldiers at their finest. Able to heft large weapons. Heft large weapons with ease. And... Wear heavy arm. Wear heavy armor. Pretty easily. Okay. Uh, I can't kill me. And since we're using that, I can't kill me. What I'm going to do is. Uh, the commander increases the training diet. Uh, he's an officer of. Uh, no. Officer of, officer of by two steps. Lancer receives double wounds in all li in all limbs in man to man combat. They're really un they're really unkillable. Uh, tortoise, tortoise, tortoise. They lancer. Yeah. 
Uh, so we have to go here. Lancer removes the encumbrance. Uh, reduces the encumbrance value value of their armor by once by one. Armor dealer. The lancers armor piercing uh, armor. Fuck, what do I end up calling out? Uh, weapons, lance, anti-vehicles. Lancers, anti-vehicle. Vehicle weapons deal one additional, additional, one additional hull damage. Lancer can spend a fate to completely ignore damage, ignore damage for an entire turn. Must it can be spent reactively. Uh. I'm gonna bump these up the two hit bonuses with the so I can give the Lancer removes. A plus three to hit with plus five to hit hit with all lances lances they're the only they're the only one actually hit with all lances and can immediately set them up and does not and does not require a setup time. Ah, heroic joust. Uh, with all lances. Toward tanks. Toward armored vehicles. Lancer adds a plus three to hit. Plus three to hit with all lances toward uh, foot in toward infantry, infantry and other non-armored targets. Vehicles slash actually I should say vehicles slash buildings. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Bludgeoning tool. Hmm, might be another good one. <sighs> what would be a good thing to put? Heavy armor pretty easily. Heft weapons, AT soldiers, big tip, able to take a hit. So we already got some of the tankier ones. We already got some of the using the lance. I guess I could add some. Uh, guardian. Can spend a fate. Can splend. Can spend. Spend a fate to intercede 
on a uh, God. Lancer can take damage meant for a meant for a another turret. Actually, let's see. The Lancer has a natural stopping power, stooping power, stopping power of five across all limbs. Seven, maybe two more. God, what are some good ones? So we already have them being kind of tankier. I think we should differentiate them a little bit. Come on, you'll move on. Pro, actually, uh, God, what am I looking for? Uh, the Lancer, the Lancers, um, FU they are attached to, he gains, gains plus two heart attack. Tank destroyers. And what's the what's the final one? It's the final final one. Demolition damage boost. Tank Lance combat suit. I should do. Uh, natural blast shield. Natural blast shields. Blast shields. The Lancer ignore. Uh, reduces all explosive damage. Damage by half. And Explosive damage by half. And explosive and and flame flame damage by half. A little bit specific, but I think that's fine. So we got the scout. You all know that I will be putting sexy Largo picks in for the Lancer because sexy Largo picks is what I live for. So, finally, we have Fencer. So, 
what is, at the end of the day, a fencer? A fencer is stupid, but <laughs> without that, low mobility, high HP units, some melee combo, and cluster infantry using their swords, which is, which is a small area of effect like a flamethrower. From the moment they are usable, they are able to one-hit kill most infantry units. Let's see. The... Yeah, dodging it. Yeah, welcome to also uh, good old-fashioned Valkyria Chronicles, where I I haven't even thought about addressing the Valkyria issue yet. I ain't even thinking about that shit. <laughs> that That's my fear. I might see what I can do about that, so... Okay, so they're melee tough guys who rush into the fight to get killed horribly. I can work with that. Knife to a gunfight. Modern knight. Or a suicide suicidal soldier. Uh, that was Val of Strength. I'm gonna share some things with the Fencer. That's gonna with the Lancer. That's gonna be kind of actually the Fencer. Fencer increases all wounds, all all limbs health by ten. Soldier, and then we get to uh, rip and tear. tear. Defenser, they make another melee attack. If they they kill a, if they kill another character in melee. That reminds me. We're going to have to go to Dreaming in Memefrica for this. I'm a genius. We can totally use this. Uh, so yeah, this is a Dreaming in Memefrica. Dreaming in Memefrica is supposed to be stupid. Because your advanced classes are really silly. As you do get things like Big Boss. Uh, scammer, scavenger, one man apocalypse, and the mech boy. All right, the street samurai. Flowing water strike. Elegant weapon. <laughs> Elegant weaponry. The samurai skill. <laughs> Not the street samurai. The. Fencer can make up to three melee attacks in a row. Fencer skill with weaponry allows them plus two with melee weaponry. Bloody reminder. The fencer takes no penalty for damage, limbs, or wounds received. Buster 
Buster. The Fencer. The Fencers. Fighting Units. A Fuse. A Fuse. Ignore the Entrench and Fortified Enemy. Bonus. Fight, we can win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. Hmm. Rip W and W. Oh, wait. What? What are we ripping? Oh God. Which doctors and war crimes? Nah, let it die. That's my, that's my thing. Let's see, the ultimate African martial artist. Do it. They <laughs> soared to a gunfight. The fencer. Fencer is allowed to move a second time. Is allowed to maneuver twice in their in the fur in their first. First turn. Fencer's allowed to be it's allowed to be twice in their first turn. Yeah, you want to get close so you can actually stab some. Shh, shh, shh. No thinky, no, no, no thinky. It's. Because that's the weird thing is that, like, in-game, that's their job. Is to, like, break enemy positions. So, because... I guess it's almost kind of like, you know, how do we break the enemy, you know, trench line in World War One? Obviously, we charge it and jump in and hopefully we can stab them to death. And <laughs> It's like this very odd... Like, it's just like, I guess that's kind of the natural extension of it. Yeah, it's that's literally what their job is. It's to jump over and start swinging, and just disrupt. Because in I know in game they can kill ninety five percent of things very quickly, because everything Gucci until you get some motherfucker to you know bring a bring the sword to the to the gunfight. You know, it's just like everyone's fine until you know, you see the one crazy bastard. Swinging a giant greatsword the size of him, you know, and killing us all. Like, yeah. So what if he got stuck in the trench? You know, Hans is dead. He doesn't have a head anymore. He died in a really metal way, but he's dead. Everybody panic. I guess that's kind of what the war pick is. Shoot. World War One was weird. It was a really weird war, but... That was also the war where it's like, ah, yes, we'll march in formation toward the entrenched machine gun position. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's like the beginning of the war, it was just like, yes, there's machi literally machine gun nests in the French, in their bright blue uniforms, like, Let's march and let's fight them in the field like proper soldiers and just watch them get gunned down. Yeah. Because, like, if you think about it, that was what doctrine was at that point. Was, yeah, okay, everyone, get your, get in line, volley fire. And you had all these really old, you know... Yeah, the only ones who really did admit the machine gun was decent was Britain and Germany, because Britain was too busy using it <laughs> in Africa, being like, man, like, this is great. See, the American Civil War was kind of weird, because it, 
the like Gatling guns and stuff, they were used, but like not as like they were still kind of that really weird early phase. So it was just like, oh well, that's just those wacky Yankees. <laughs> yeah, the Eastern Front. There's a reason they're called human wave attacks, because that's what the strategy was at some points. <laughs> it can't be. Well, that's like also in World War One, where the Kaiser got mad because the, the Americans were using shotguns in the trenches. Like this isn't fair. Like you, you can't use shotguns in tight enclosed areas. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> like, they use this floppy arm to aggressively flop at us, and it's just like, ah, oh, God bless you, Kaiser. Yeah, World War One was an odd war because again, all these guys knew each other. The Kaiser was related to the King of England, who was related to the Tsar of Russia, and. Because they, it was just like they were all like vaguely related to each other, and it, it'd be like if we were just like, ah, yes, let's declare war on you, know, cousin Franz from over there. We, s <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it was so completely bizarre. It's like, what? <laughs> and I think that's one of the reasons. Like, I, I think that's like one of the major reasons why a war changed so much after World War One. You know, no one really gives World War One the credit it sometimes deserves of how war was so drastically changed over you know a relatively small amount of time. Like let's let's be honest, it was World War One lasted a while for people in Europe, but it just the fact from the beginning of the war again, volley fire was you know valuable to the end of the war being this like trenches death destruction. Yeah, it's, it's also one of those things, like, if you look at, like, a purely, like, a bird's-eye view of the matter, you be like, hmm, yes, it appears um, I'm moving my troops in the right direction. Ah, oh, yes, friends, this is a beautiful idea. We'll just move our men up here, move our men over there, and we've secured the valley. While like, the guys in the trench were like, you want us to do what? You want us to move across that, that barbed wire hellscape. Why? Oh, you're gonna shoot me if I don't. Okay, up, up the wall. <laughs> Let's pray the enemy doesn't shoot me first. You also got some weird, yeah. You also get some weird things like in like France and Germany, and, like all songs, because like. Uh, oh yeah, and the, those, the old guard officers were like one of the big issue. <laughs> I, trust me, it's World War One is one of those fun wars always taught in America, which is like the war that kind of happened. It's like the Korean War, and like you're, you're, when you were in school, if you were if you're a burger like me. Remember reading about the Korean War? No, no one did. Nobody remembered reading the Korean War. I distinctly remember it was literally a paragraph in our book. It was a paragraph long. And I, I, I remember asking my teacher, I mean, like, hey, what happened during the Korean War? This seems like a pretty major... Yeah, I know, like, in the U U.S., like... I was in the Midwest, or it might be different elsewhere, but it's like, the Korean War, we just glance over, like, nobody cares about it. I actually had to learn a lot about the Korean War myself, and it's a, that was a funky war. There was, there's some points in the Korean War that's like, ah, yes, uh, God, who was the president? It wasn't Ike, uh, I can see who it was. But the president was about two seconds away from launching a nuke. No, it was Ford, wasn't it? He was about two seconds away from launching a nuke at uh, the Chinese to blow up a dam that would have caused millions of undeath. But he's like, that's a little bit fucked up. And everyone's like, yeah, that's a little bit messed up. 
It wasn't the uh, no. It was the president who advocated for it. I remember. You know, it's such a weird story. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> also, I would also I would like you to remember. I did get a, a notification from Twitch. It was like, mm, that doesn't seem very nice. You can't really do that. God, MacArthur, MacArthur is a wacky dude. <laughs> I love him. He's such a weird motherfucker at some of the shit that he did. It's weird because I've put the word fucking in the chat before. It doesn't even care. I've seen other people put the word fucking in. I think it's just because you said fucking American that, <laughs> that it triggered. Ah, fucking burgers, I swear. <laughs> Burgastani, what can I say? It's what other words are like I just never learn about in school. I never really learned anything about again World War One. We glanced over it and <laughs> that was funnier than hell because we we kept all asking like, but why? Like because you know. <laughs> As I remember my teacher saying, World War I wasn't really that important for America. <laughs> it was just like, I have several questions. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can see that not learning a lot about uh, Vietnam if you're if you're a leaf. It's well, we learned. It was very odd for us learning about Vietnam because we'd learn about like the book said one thing, and we'd do this entire thing on Vietnam. But then we'd have to like skip. Then the book would just refuse to talk about certain sections, and then it would just move on. Our teacher was pretty cool about that. He was a military dude, and his I think his dad was in Vietnam. So he's just like, all right, kids, this isn't going to be on the test, but let's talk about all the weird shit that happened in Vietnam. <laughs> I'm like, hell yeah. That's where I learned about, um, not MacArthur's, uh, McCartney's. Was it McNamara? It was M something McNamara. Ah, yeah, McNamara's Folly. No, we got to learn about things like McNamara's Folly. <laughs> and the mountain. <laughs> I'm going to turn the auto mod up. You get, yeah, don't worry. I'm surprised I haven't been accused of something. But like... It's... McNamara's Folly was a very weird situation because what it was was the McNamara, I think he was the war sec secretary of war at that time. He sat there and was like, hey, we need more troops. We need more troops in Vietnam to uh, even things out. So he's like, okay, you know all these low IQ troops who are completely unfit to fight? Because they are bottom of the barrel dumb. Like, they didn't know we were at war tier, and that uh, Uncle Sam was just everyone's uncle named Sam. Let, let's draft all of them. And a hundred thousand of these guys got deployed to Vietnam, and there was like a mass casualties among them. Because these guys didn't know, none of them could read hardly. And, like, some of them hadn't even passed high school, and that was, like, a big issue. And it's still, you can still occasionally see things about it through, uh, like, recruitment processes. Of There's a reason why you need to have... Where'd the Lancer go?
Lancer. Lancer. Oh god, the Lancer's gone. Wait, where the fuck did it go? Did I hit X instead of C? Okay. Weird. All right. All right. Weird flex, but okay. No, we're, everything is found. Crisis averted, President save. You know, McNamara's folly, that... The thing is, I actually plan on, for April Fool's, this... I don't know why it's doing this. For April Fool's, I plan on actually making a... A little... Dare I say a hack of a uh, mel of ops and tactics called tact it's uh, operationally challenged and tactically incompetent based on McNamara's hundred thousand of just <laughs> being as stupid as physically possible with the guns the uh, all, all the really detailed aspects of ops and tactics and just making it <laughs> as uh, silly as physically possible and making it, uh, of course, D20, just just to piss Melon off, because I have literally no sense of right or wrong. I am the Joker. Why does it keep doing this? Why? Why, why does... Oh God, I hate Google Sheets. I hate Google, Google Docs sometimes. It makes such weird decisions. Ops and Tactics is uh, Melon, Sweet Soul Bro's uh, baby child, and he loves that game, as that's like his pride and joy. One of the major issues of it is that it's older, uh, one, it's much older, and usually it's originally based off of... Not, I can see it in the top of my head that I'm having a stroke. Uh, D20 Modern. And people obviously don't like D20 Modern and like to attribute. Why do you have 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Why do you have 10? And like to kind of attribute it wrongly to some issues with they have with it. So Melon likes to defend it. And obviously people get weird and pissed pissed off at things. I've read through it. It's not my kind of game, but the people who play Ops and Tactics are the people who are going to fucking love Ops and Tactics. You, your commandos at their finest. So that's that's kind of the thing there. Me and Melon share just a, a small common factor just because we both suffer the wonderful world of people doing stupid things with our games. Uh. Scout's a little bit bare. I could probably do, do some work to fix that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm gonna take away that iron skin. 
Actually, what I can do is I can do heavy weapons. King, get rid of the boys. Not necessarily no guns, just people who really dislike uh, D20 Modern. It'd be like getting mad at, you know, 5th edition because 3rd edition existed. It, it's like, they're two very different things, but everyone knows the old edition better, so. Oh, actually, not, not, not these guys, jeez. But that's a rant for another time. Uh, Lancer, Fencer, okay, so we have all our... So, just for my own sanity, I'm willing to mark these done, so I don't really have to worry about them. Honestly, with classes done, all I need to do now is potentials. Oh, you lucky bastard. Yeah, I know, it's... I played quite a bit. Quite a bit of D&D. &D, just because that's what you got to play. And I had an old grog as a DM, so... My, quote, D&D &D experience was started with OSR stuff, so... Uh, yippee ki yeet Is anyone posting stupid shit in discords? No, I like it when people don't post stupid shit in discords. Hey, I like the OS. I like OSR. They're really, they're really cool guys. From all the OSR people I've dealt with over my time, they've all been pretty cool about things. Really helpful. Really nice. I don't doubt there are grogs out there that are just jackass human beings. I do not doubt that in the slightest, but let's see. So what I'm going to have to do... Actually, if I, I can probably keep these. The faction management, this entire section is going to have to go, or at least get edited pretty hard. Campaign, points of interest. It kind of depends on how you. It kind of depends on how you uh, play and which ones you do play. I played with one. The the OSR I was in was Castles and Crusades. That was the most fun I think I've ever had in the game, just because of the way he played it was very high fantasy, very fantastical in its own way, and just not a lot. Of, he was just a good DM, I think. Just, he's fucking amazing. I try to model myself after him and tell my DM, but I do enjoy He was just a, he was a nice dude, too.
I don't think he DMs anymore though. And if he does, he doesn't do it for a lot of, doesn't really do uh, big games anymore. Because hell, there was at one point, my group consisted of, let's see. Seven, eight people. <laughs> yeah, uh, da 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 da. Yeah, you can commit war crimes in this game, fun fact. Get used to it. I'm um, going to cut ethnic ties. I'm uh, going to have to cut this reputation and legitimacy. I really don't... I really actually don't need this section at all. second as I just select all of these and hit the giant red button there we go deeper faction management so probably I can cut this I can cut the who you are section I can cut I'm gonna keep supply lines just because some people are gonna get really. Some people really enjoy supply lines and logistics. Yeah, it's. You need a fantastic GM to do anything larger than. I'd say four, five people. Anything larger than that, you need a good GM. You need a good system. You need. It needs to be good. But hell, I, I, you, you do need, I think smaller games are my, my, uh, thing. Be gone. Be gone. Half of me wants to. Oh yeah, no, it's I, and I've uh, I like I've liked to balance a lot of my games around about three players. Three, just because that's what my group size is. I can go usually up to four, but I don't really feel comfortable going beyond that. <laughs> now I get to ask myself, do I want to add in all the weird weapons? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably, because they're stupid, like the fucking chainsaw. Damn straight. Uh, drugs and narcotics, that's just, I have to just do a full integration of that. Okay. This reminds me, officer talents, character skills. Oh god, I'm gonna have to fix that, aren't I? Ugh. I don't like it. Not even weird guns, I'm talking about tonthas. Like it's, um, to give you... 
I got accused when I was making this game, when I was fixing things up, being just like, well, you don't have fun things. Your, your, your game isn't fun because it doesn't have all the weird racist undertones that the original Witch Doctors and War Crimes had. Well, not even undertones, overtones, and just tones. That's so why I said screw it, and I went nuts. And I added in a bunch of really strange weapons, such as chainsaws, katanas, nunchucks, tonfas. Uh, technically, the katana is probably one of the most be the best weapons in the game because it has a heroic quality and allows you to pretty much overspend resources and then chop people up, but it's also a fucking katana. And you need, God, what, how much anarchy do you need? You need five anarchy. Pretty much, you need to have your country destabilized to all hell before the katana becomes cool. And then we have, of course, all our very odd weapons. I'm thinking of actually keeping some of these. But others of them, I'm not mm, terribly not keen on. Because inevitably, someone's going to want to play Imka from Valkyria Chronicles 4. Like, they're going to want to play this. Not IMCA Val... Oh, Valkyria 3. This is Imka. Imka has a giant mega cannon gun sword that doubles as a changing super weapon based on what class she is. People are going to want to play that, and this isn't even going into some of the weirder weapons out there, like the fucking um, uh, Artificial Valkyria. And this isn't even factoring in the entirety of the fact that people are going to want to play fucking Valkyria. <laughs> because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> that's the only reason, really, why. Because of reasons. Uh, it's... Like, Imka's an interesting character, because, again, she she's kind of a plot character in VC3. And her, she, her entire repertoire and abilities change based on what class she is. So, but people are going to want to have that stupid weapon at some point, or people are going to want the, um, uh, Silveria. And they're going to want Salveria, uh, 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 there. <laughs> I'm like, I can't click on any of these images. All of these are naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty images. <laughs> it's a lance that she shoots lasers from. Now you may be under answering, but why? Because she's magic. You know, like, that makes no sense. And the answer is, welcome to Valkyria Chronicles Late Game. Yeah, you thought this was a hardcore war game about, you know, teenage girls dying in the trenches of war? No. It's a, it's, it's magic. There's, there's magic powers that she shoots laser beams from, and... And then uses the power of love to redeem her or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, officer talents and character skills. 150. Potentials. Not every officer and character. Not every, not every officer and character are born the same. Uh, I should say, not every character is born the same. Some are simply more skilled at certain walks of life than others. When a character levels up from experience, they are able to take a talent. Or, uh, what for, uh, levels up from experience? They unlock. They unlock a new potential. Actually, the character. All characters. 
begin play with a single potential with a single potential but when it but when a character levels up from experience they unlock a new potential uh, actually when the when they level up at certain intervals they unlock a new potential and I'm going to put a table in right here or I'm going to hit the hell be gone be gone brand <laughs> yeah no uh it, it it only got worse it only got worse Uh, welcome to Artificial Valkyria. Uh, now, I'm, you have to ask yourself, is this Toku or is this Valkyria Chronicles? There you go. There's, there, there, there's Welcome to Valkyria Chronicles, folks. Here's, here's your fucking, your common writer villain, you know, for today. Uh, let's see what other... Let's see what other random ass characters there are who want to use the power of. That's just porn. Uh, yeah, no, uh, welcome. <sighs> Jesus. I, I fucking hate this. I fucking hate this series sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I'm. That's why I'm kind of hesitant to put in things akin to, like, the artificial Valkyria, the uh, Valkyria in general, and some of, like, the, <laughs> there's, there's a clear point we should have stopped, but let's keep going and see what happens. Like, there's, there's a few things I'm a little bit hesitant to add in, just because of, no, that's not how it, no, sorry. No, you're you're gonna hop in your Power Ranger suit, and you're gonna like it. Not every character, not every character is born. A potential falls into. This. Okay, falls into three categories. Falls into three categories. That reflects that three categories: talents, skills, uh, gifts, no, talents, talents, gifts, and problems. Talent is the ability to lead troops and operate more effectively in the field of battle. These blanket bonus have to use under the commander's command, as well as gives reduced bonus if they are. Each talent starts at plus two a certain type of FU, such as organization, and mitigates a single complication, such as rough hazards, dangerous strain, gives a flat bonus. Tank case, all FUs with tanks equipped have plus two organization, paratrooper command, all paratroopers with FUs, all marine FUs, tank killer, all FUs gain a plus one to heart attack. Down. Now, leading to a character becoming an aficionado at leading troops in certain aspects. Oh, I should actually post the... Uh, we want to insert table. Uh, character experience level. Uh, potential. Actually, no, 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 no. 
Oh, when a character... But when a character levels up... Levels up use, using experience, they can unlock a new potential. So, haha, -ha, you can unlock a new potential. Ugh. character can have a maximum of four potentials. Four potentials. Certain, situ certain situation problems will allow the character to change after this point the character must uh, actually no Effectively, what I was thinking about doing was, after a certain point, you have to go through, you know, something to get rid of it. Like, oh, hey, I'm a tank ace, and suddenly, just like, if you're fighting no tanks, and, like, talk to GM, I guess, at that point. Uh, uh, these act as uh, specialties, fortes. Starts to love all this character to do something others may not be able to. Reduces the difficulty check by one step if it ever becomes irrelevant. Uh, uh, airplane repair, kung fu. Uh, uh, federal. Mountain, mountain survive, mountaineer survivalist. Mountain survive. Nat let's say nature scout. Uh, actually, imperial copy. Uh, uh, not imperial officer. Uh, imperial clerk. Vaudeville actress, nature scout, mountain survivalist. And now we get to add in the really bad one, the problems. Problems are as they sound. Issues the character must under uh, uh, the character suffers from that prevents them from operating at a hundred at a hundred percent efficiency. The character suffering from problems. Uh, are hindered, are hindered by the problem, uh, by the problem present. So, are hindered, are hindered by it. But to compensate, a character who suffers, who, who is undergoing a problem. Undergoing a problem will draw an additional fate if it affects if it affects them in a meaningful meaningful way. And now I get to add a footnote here. So God bless footnotes. A meaning meaningful way. Effectively means that uh, that the problem is a major detriment to the character right? and act and hinders their hundred hinders 
hinders their ability to undergo the operation. Undergo the operation. I am depressed is a good problem. Because everything the character do everything the character does nah. actually no. I am depressed is a bad actually is a bad bad problem. As it can it can be safely ignored. I re I despise I despise the dark Darskins Darskins is a good problem. As every interaction action with them is going to be going to be a moment away from wanting to hurt them. Oh God. Are shit posting again. Why do people shit post? The traditional fate of it affects them in a meaningful way. And let's see. Problems e either have a permanent negative modifier, negative modifier. To affect the player, problems either permanent negative modifier to affect the character, a situational major penalty, major penalty toward the character, or a overriding uh, social social problem that affects. Affects the play, affects the character in social situations. And example problems. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, uh, shaky hands. The character has a permanent, permanent negative two, two actually it should be negative three to all twitch checks to shoot a gun. No, it's not. It's it's other servers, unfortunately, that people are uh, what can only be safely described as mass shit posting because God is dead. Like, lads, please. Everybody, let's just get along. The character ha has a negative six to all sense checks during one of the four seasons. And every six to all checks. Actually, what I should say is uh, an overriding problem. Let's see, actually. Allergic to allergic metal. Mm, what's a good what's a good problem what's a solid problem to affect someone have killer chronicles potentials mm. 
Let's see. Oh, oh, no, go away, fandom. Yeah, welcome to the various potential systems in Valkyria Chronicles. We're just like, uh, let's see, back, back up sniping. Yeah, I'm big hearted. Chatty Kathy. Ah, oh, yes, okay. Claustrophobic. The character has a has a negative four to all negative three to all checks. And checks when in an entrenched position. Let's see what other terrible things we can find. As a negative negative three to all. Uh, actually, the character character doubles all penalties when a limb is is crippled is crippled or destroyed. Bat around blood. The character has a negative negative three to all checks for a round for a round after a nearby ally is hit with a weapon and illiterate <laughs> the character is functional is functionally illiterate they cannot read or write at all Ah, uh, what's some other fun issues that we can we can get around? Ah, uh, let's see. God, what is what's the term uh, term for man? I'm uh, a misandrist. Mm. The character dis 
despises. The character despises men. And refuses to deal deal with them. And when forced and when forced to suffer a negative six to all and suffers a negative six to all social checks. Actually it should be all sleaze checks. Song of Peace. You can always tell which ones are the the, the story ones. character is a functional pariah it is a functional pariah no one likes no one likes to deal with them and all, and those associated with them there we are okay Potentials, whatever character is born in the same star. Going to delete officer talents and skills, because guess what? We already have those in. Uh, so, god, urban combat's gonna be at the. Uh, uh. Sort of paragraphs. Ariel Roboto. Toma Rarigato, Mister Libato, Domo Domo. Domo Domo. Alright, potentials. Oof, 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 oof. Oh god, where do I even put this? Uh, classes, desires, mementos. Uh, you move one thing and suddenly everything gets out of whack. Okay, we want to go to desires. We're going to hit that. Stream for two and a half hours. Jesus. Uh, let's see. So this is heading three. So I need to make this heading two. That means all of you now have to be bumped up to heading three. Oh god, that burger is killing me. Hmm. I'm going to move down there, and then I'm going to move 
might have to get rid of one of them just because I... Oh, already I'm going to have to get rid of one. I have to get rid of two. Now I have to get one rid of... Uh... I'll get rid of Outcast. So, alright, we have our gifts from the shaky hands. All our potentials. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Because there's like a six second delay between everything I do. All I'm having images and pictures in Google Docs. Uh, to experience, we select a new perk from the class. Oh, you learn the time time in the field. That. That ten experience. Okay, select a new perk from the class. Another class. Another class. Uh, add a new potential. From another another class, add a new potential. All right, so what have we done today? We've done actually quite a bit of stuff. So we got our classes set up, we got our potential set up, and what I need to do now, so. So let's see, we are roughly about here. Add a note, a uh, note to self here. So I'm going to put a note to myself right here just to know that's kind of where we are roughly. And we're doing pretty okay. All right, so uh, next time, I'm gonna get the faction sorted out. I'm gonna get the uh, what what might occur during the inter interperiod time is getting all the basics of this sorted out, and potentially neck the, depending on how deep I go into it, I may see if I can't just wrap everything up all in once, or I'll see if you know worst worst case scenario is I'm going to have to just rewrite everything at once and that's going to kill me on the internally but that's why we're here here to watch me suffer so thank you all for watching i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day godspeed and good luck everyone i'm tired and not gonna go to bed because it's me all right goodbye